How's it going, Internet? Today I'm going to show you how to make something. Uh, it's going to be like a... I'll show you a clip of it right here. Alright, to get started, open After Effects. Now that you have that, well also you have to have After Effects. Once it's open, go to uh, make a new composition, whatever settings you want. I'd say uh, if you're going to reuse this, make it like 10 minutes long. Uh, make a new layer. Solid. The color doesn't matter. Name doesn't matter. You can just make sure it's the size of the composition. Right click on it. Effect. Generate. Audio spectrum. Change the side to side B. Uh, you can have whatever colors you want. I'm going to do like a, like a blue color. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Uh, blue color. There we go. And frequency bands. These are just the what I prefer, so you can change it to something else if you don't like this. So, 201, maximum height, uh, 1500. And frequency, I'd say like 300 or something. Uh Oh yeah. Change this first number to 0, the second one to 1920. That's for uh if you're doing if you're doing 1920 by 1080. Um if you're doing 7 or if you're doing 1280 by 720 then you would change this to 1280 I think I'm not sure I've never done that size um, let's see what other settings audio duration change that to 200 uh, I think that's it for this one and then go over here and search for um, polar coordinates get that on that layer uh, change it to the top rectangle to polar 100% it should be a circle and you're gonna want to import your <coughs> music now let's see that's a good one and go ahead and throw that in there um, what? oh there it is then go back to the uh, the audio spectrum and choose the the music as the audio layer and then it should show up right here like this right there like that I'm gonna change this a little bit the end frequency to 250 see how that looks yeah I like that better um, and then you're gonna wanna copy and paste that layer and the the one on the top change the colors to white and make sure it's also um, synced up with the, uh, the audio layers the song and uh, go into the uh, layer and make it 50% opacity and then you're going to want to create a adjustment layer call it like a what do you want this oh color yeah color this you're going to use to control the uh color obviously <laughs> and then go over to the effects type in color with
with one R, not two R's. Color control. Put that on the color layer. And then open that up. And open up the, uh, this one, the blue one right here. Or whatever color you chose. Go into the effects, audio spectrum, color. And alt click on the stopwatch next to it. Drag that up to this color. Then you can just copy, control C, copy that expression right there. Alt, click on the uh, the secondary color, or the outside color, and paste the expression in there. So basically, those are now linked to this color up here, so you can control the color of it using just this one thing right here. So I'm going to change that back to blue like light blue or something and then okay let's let's rename this so you know what they are you can just also you can just select it and press enter to rename it uh, call this white spectrum that's the one in the front and then call this um, you can call it whatever you want I'm just gonna type in no not blue uh, color spectrum because you'll probably change the color to some other color wouldn't want to name it blue um, and also to separate layers by like this little box right here you can go up to edit label and since that one's white is the white in here no I'll just set it to none leave it there I'll change this one to blue that changes the color of the whole layer so you can like separate it by that if you want <clears throat> and go back to the effects type in fast blur grab that put it on the colored spectrum and I'd say start out with like if you want to do it exactly how I did it just type in two and then uh, make sure you have this this one selected right here the color spectrum. Control C and Control V to copy and paste it and just paste it uh, one, two, three, four, six times. It should be six. It depends on how much glow you want this to have. But And uh, now you gotta go into all of them and change this thing back to the song. All right, almost done with that. They all synced up. Yep, okay. And all those are also, since you did the, uh, you linked the color to this color control right here, if you change this, it changes every single one of them. The white, uh, except for the white, because if you can see, I'll turn off the white layer it's just that it makes it have like a like a lightsaber I guess is the way you could describe it kind of like a a lighter part in the middle and it gets darker on the outside um, I'm gonna change that back to blue I like blue better uh, anyway okay after that I'll also make sure the white one is always on top of all the other uh, audio spectrums or else it won't show up it'll be behind it go into the first one right here, it doesn't matter what the name is, just go to the first one right under white. That one is 2 for the fast blur. The next one, double it to 4, and just keep doubling them. So this one, 8. The next one, 16. 32. 64 and you'll start to see it um, start glowing over there on the side and then what's 64 one 28 okay and that is it right there it will add a lot of render time because uh, you have so many audio spectrums and the glow the fast blur makes it look like a glow so it uh it kind of adds a lot of time but that is how i did it
And if you want it to look the same as mine, put you just open up a a logo. Drag one in there. Let me find one. Uh, I'd put it behind everything. It makes it look makes it look like it's uh, a little better to me, in my opinion. Um, you can just drag a logo in there and scale it down to fit in the center. Wow, perfect. <laughs> and it, also, if you want it to look a little better than that, you can uh, change it to black and white. And... Boom. Pretty much it right there. I know in the video I showed at the beginning it had like particles and stuff flying around, but this is just to show how to make uh, this part. I will be doing like um, a couple more videos. Well, over time I'll keep doing more and more, but it'll be like the main focus of these is kind of audio visual effects, I guess. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show, I'm going to make another video. Uh, also, sorry if I'm. I'm kind of sounding like monotone and not energetic. I'm kind of tired. <sighs> I'm going to I'm going to make some more tutorials um later. They'll be like how to make particles, which are the little dots, how to add those in the background and make them like move with the speed of the song and um how to how to use uh the audio to control certain effects and stuff and like how to make this whole part right here kind of pulse forward and backwards that'll be a pretty simple one it's just like an expression you can add in but um yeah i'll have more videos about that stuff later anyway that's about it um let's see if i can make it so you can see it a little better i'll make it brighter You can see the glow pretty well. It's kind of realistic. Anyway, that's about it. See you later.